Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll use a table of values. Then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x and see what we get for y. It's always good to start with 0 because 2 thirds times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 1, that's 1. We can choose any values for x and the corresponding y will show up on our line. But we'd like it to fit on our graph paper. And it'd be kind of nice if they were whole numbers. So if I put 3 in for x, 2 thirds times 3, that would give me 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Likewise, I could put in negative 3 because 2 thirds times negative 3, that would give me a negative 2 plus 1, and that would just give me a negative 1. So these are the points we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. So we'll start on the x-axis, x is 0, y is 1. Then we have x is 3, y is 3. And finally, x is negative 3, y is negative 1. We could have used just two points, but when we have 3, we made an error here. We'll catch that. So this is the line for the equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. Let's put a line through this put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for the equation y equals 2 third x plus 1. Let's check our work with slope intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y intercept, that's 1. So our line should cross the y intercept at 1, right there. So that makes sense. m, that's the slope, that's the 2 thirds here. And we can think of this as rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept, we rise 1, 2, we run 1, 2, 3. Let's do it again. Rise 1, 2, go over 1, 2, 3. Those points are on the line. Could go in the opposite direction. We can go down 1, 2, and over 1 to the left. That's also on our line. So we did the first part here correctly. This is the correct graph for the linear equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.